So were you watching Black Panther just thinking, is that me? Was I in this movie? I don't remember being in this movie. I actually did say that to myself. It, 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 Bill was actually the first person that uh, told me that. What did you, you know what you wrote on my Facebook? Yeah, that I, I didn't know you were in Black Panther. Yeah. And, and, I, and I was going to college. Because there's a picture of him smiling evil, and it looks just like you and Wangus Young. You know, ever done, yes. <laughs> ever done, yes. So I was watching it um, going to California, and I said, yeah, it exactly looks like me. And I couldn't even finish watching the movie. I fell asleep because I thought it was so It was boring. really fucking boring, man. Yeah. I, I hate to say it. It was the most boring fucking movie ever. But you, you know what movie that I saw recently that everybody said was going to be shit, and I liked it? What? Death Wish. Have you guys heard of that? I, I, I like the old one. No, no, like the Charles new, Bronson. No, no. There's a new one. Bruce Willis. Yeah, I, 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 I am not too nuts about Bruce Willis. I am not either. I think he's just a old, really kind of stubborn douche. I, I, I don't know. I, I never, I never liked him. Everybody's nuts about like Die Hard. Oh, the best Christmas movie ever. I, I was never nuts about him. Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction. He was good. That was. That's like the one thing I think he was good in. Was he in a baseball movie too? I'm I'm not uh, sure. Fifth Element. Yeah, that was that good. baseball movie. That was good. Well, how do you not like Fifth Element? I I, oh. I don't remember it honestly. Oh, what was that when he was a ghost? I I see dead people. Oh, uh, Sixth Sense. Yeah, Sixth Sense. Yeah, I yeah. thought he was good in that. He had yeah. he's hit or miss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but but you, Death no Death Wish was it was like a Chicago John Wick. Really? Yeah, straight up. It's it's he's a surgeon, and. Uh, it's like they they uh, hype all the you know how like last year Chicago reached the murder capital of the U.S. or mm-hmm. whatever they're like talking about how it's like oh the heat is rising and so are the deaths and all this shit and that's like when it takes place and basically uh, his his I mean I'm not ru- I I don't give a shit if I'm ruining it whatever he um his his wife gets murdered and the uh, daughter gets in a coma after a gang uh, burglarizes them. So he he's like, man, fuck all this shit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find. Oh, oh, and the cops can't prove it because there's such. I forgot what it is. It's like such a huge gang, and when they go in the, you know, the investigation room, there's like seventy fucking papers on the wall of non-solved crimes. He's like, fuck the cops. They're not doing shit. I'm gonna fucking solve this shit. And he he like buys a Glock, and starts killing people left and right to try and get to. And it's I, I don't know. I liked it because it's like you know it's a new movie. So you watch it on like a good fucking TV, and it's like, yep, there's right in front of Bottom Lounge. There's right in front of Metro. You know, you they can. Were, t- you, they were in front of Bottom Lounge and Metro, literally. It, 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 yeah, it's all in Chicago. I didn't know it was in Chicago. I think, I think yeah, it's all in Chicago. I, I think his home though is like it looks like Evanston. Mm. So, but whatever. Well, he's a surgeon. He, he's got to be yeah, close the hospital, to Northwestern. He's uh, he's a surgeon at Rush, I think. Ah. Oh. Because that's, that, cause that's a hospital that I went to uh, for my seizure stuff. And and I know, like, that whole area. The Rust mm-hmm. the Hospital? Yeah. That's a good hospital. Yeah. Do you, you have any complaints about it, though? Because I hear no, every uh, rants about it. No, I don't I don't have any complaints. I, I, I didn't even want to go there. I mean, I just got uh, referred there by my old doctor from Cleveland. So I hear their surgeons have this terrible bloodlust and just start killing everyone. Yeah, man. But other than that... Do yep. they start mispronouncing names? Yes. Yeah. Well, it's oh. not that they mispronounce them; they just pick different ones. Pick different. Okay. Yeah. Any anything else new, guys? Any other reviews? I don't know. We my, sis- talk- my twin sister got married in, in the airport. Yeah. I walked her down the aisle. Wait, your two was, sisters got married? I have twin. I I, I have a twin. I have my I have a twin. You're okay. Got you. I thought you said two, not twin. No. Yeah, I have four sisters actually. Yeah. And one we of them talk- got married. Yep. Do we like the guy? I love the guy. He took me to Cincinnati last, like we were talking about in uh, in the car. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, he, what'd you do in Cincinnati? Oh, his. Uh, I, I was saying this in the car. His family owns a brewery. God, gotcha. how's the beer? Be it, honest. It, it, it's it was good. It, it really is. You, we, it's not. It's always lo- it's always local. You go and get it in Cincinnati, but it's it was good. I we all, I loved it. They had a great uh. What's the card? Uh, Bollywood. Oh, nice. Okay. And, and it, what, what it was uh, uh, pretty much is they they, they host a, a boxy, amateur boxy against uh, other breweries in Cincinnati. So it's uh, bo- uh, so bo- a boxing in the bar? No, it was in the, it was in the parking lot of the brewery. 
like a yeah. boxing match. Yeah, there was okay. like six but, of them. But so fight club breweries. Yeah, the, different breweries. It was like six different breweries in the Cincinnati area. That okay. sent boxers. Well, the average was fighting the fighters of uh, the walkers of for the. Brewery. Got you. Okay. Yeah. So would that be an appropriate venue for you and Domino to hash things out? Are you and John? I don't know, but they, they, my uh, brother-in-law made me say I might do it next year. All right. Yeah. Are you going to box? Well, I don't know. You got well, to trade. You got, they actually trade the boxers. John, yeah, John and Zach are good people to train like, on. The breweries train the boxers? No, the, the people who box get trained by professional boxers. Okay. Like for two months. Ross, I got to say I'm not sold on your brother-in-law. Why? Well, because I asked what's so great about him, and you immediately say, well, he took me to Cincinnati. And you want to be honest? Mm-hmm. He's he married my sister. He's mm-hmm. a, he's a great guy. He never complains. He 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 uh oh he never makes me pay for anything. Anything. I try everything to buy a bill. He paid for everything. The flight to Cincinnati. Like we stayed at his parents' place. Like the food, drinks, everything. Every time I try to buy something, he never lets me pay pay anything. And I get along with him. It's very generous of him. Yeah. I could uh, I could use some extra grocery money. Can you? Ask yeah. Him? Will you ask your brother-in-law? Well, he also says he's very frugal. Oh, so frugal he, he pays for everything, but he's frugal. I see how it is. Well, he he said that to himself. You know, he, you're my brother-in-law. Of course, I go. I, I love you. I, I'm gonna pay for it, everything, but you know. But those asshole friends of yours. <laughs> and exactly. I'm sorry. By the way, your birthday passed, and I'm sorry that we didn't get you a hooker this year. That's fine. 2019 is right around the corner. Yep. Buy me a bill, and we're good. <laughs> Who do you think we are? Your brother-in-law? <laughs> yes. Oh. I invited you to the two of David Busters. You didn't want to come. Yeah, because it's on a Monday, yeah. and I know you, you did it on a Monday because Jewel needs you on the weekend. I know you did it. Ex- exactly. Yep. Fuck Jewel, man. Yeah, I know. I, I, I got today off. I did my, uh, you know. I'll need to save up for that hooker anyways, so next year. You're not the first yeah. person who offered me. Nobody follows through with this shit. Oh, but don't you want it to be some weird shit, like a uh, one eye or, you know, like an amputee? <sighs> shit, you no. seem like that kind of guy. Drink to that, huh? No, I like my goth goes and tattoos and goth piercings. Girls. Okay. I'll go to okhooker.com. Goth girls. We got this handsome claw-looking guy. You can give me a claw... You'll wear a claw. Oh, yeah. so re- role play too, yeah, huh? Yeah, role play and shit. I, dude, I hear those uh, Comic Cons, man. They get some pretty intense hotel parties there, orgies. Well, I, actually, one night uh, I was bagging for these people. They was, they was, they, was, they, they was said they're going to a furry convention. For, oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They wear their costumes during yes. sex. Yeah. It was an actual convention. In Where? In Rosemont. Oh, Lord. I, I said, that's cool, but I said to myself, that's the, that's the way out. What were they buying? Lots of booze. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I can respect that. I think they were from Michigan. Mm. So uh, I I got this you know new welding job, mm-hmm. and uh, oh by the way, you know it's really I I mentioned this to Bill, but you know it's really funny. I uh, what? Already know? I, no, no, never mind. Um, I'm getting off track. Oh yeah, no, you know what happened is I I don't think I mentioned this to you. So I got this. I'm pretty cool there. Everybody gets along there. You know how they say uh, when you, you the, the, when you got tough times, you just grow closer to people, which is like at work where you got work friends and out. And so you see these people every day, and I'm cool with everyone there. You know, everybody just kind of gets along. But this one guy, he's this. Uh, his name is Derek, and he's from uh, he's from like the worst neighborhood in Chicago. He's he's really cool, but uh, I think he's out of his fucking mind. Because he, it went I, away. I I can't I can't take him. Okay, first of all, he he's very paranoid. I think it's because he I don't know maybe got mugged a lot during life or something. Well, you but said he, he's in the worst area of Chicago. Yeah, yeah. I'll be the same way. <laughs> Times <laughs> bad. He, he uh, he, it it makes me laugh though because he sound. Have you guys seen Next Friday? Yes. Have you seen it, Bill? Nope. Or uh, Bill, have you seen Dead Presidents? Nope. Okay. Well, how could you not see next Friday and you wear an NWA shirt? Yeah, man. What the fuck's wrong with you, Brian? I am so sorry. Continue with your story. <laughs> no, well, there's there's a pimp in there. You know Pinky? You remember Pinky the guy? Yes. Owns? Yeah. Yes. He sounds exactly like Pinky, and I can't take him seriously. Really? And a funny thing is, so, like, first, here's what I don't get. First day, he's like, 
Uh, he's like, yeah, man, you welding? Yeah, that's cool. You like it over here, huh? Yeah, that's good. That's good. <laughs> and he sounds exactly like him. And then the other days, he won't talk to me at all, but he'll walk by and he'll be like, yeah, you got to watch out. There are a lot of haters over here. You got to watch out, man. You know what I'm saying, right? And I'm like, no, I I don't know what you're talking about. Haters? What what haters? He's like, oh, you see what I'm talking about. You ju- you just give it a few days. You just give it. It's just, it's just and then and then and then like the next day, I'm like, it's like, yeah, you still like the job? The the haters ain't getting to you, huh? I'm like, no, no, I'm good. And he's like, yeah. How how you like it over here? Wait, wait, you, they got you fusing? I'm like, yeah. What you, what's like, the fusing mean? It's it's f- fusing is your. Instead of welding, you're melting corners okay. so that it's not sharp because it's surgi- uh, It's like you know surgery tables and shit. So uh, for animals. Okay. So a- a- anyways, so he's like, uh, yeah, I weld cages all day. So so he's like, oh, they got you fusing. Huh? Don't get too comfortable. They're gonna move you as soon as you lack it here. And then I'm like, okay, uh, I like every job. And then like the next day, he's like. Yeah, you know they they got that new guy in here. He's gonna take your job. He's gonna take you. Gonna move up with us, do the big boy stuff. I'm like, well, I do everything around that. And then like he's like, why the fuck are you so happy? I can't crack you. <laughs> you know? Did like, you call, did you say he called you a cracker? No, I he's like I can't crack you. You just happy no matter where you are working. You don't care where they got you at. I'm like, no, I don't. I fucking I just like this job. You know? <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> yeah. No, he just this whole time I'm picturing that guy's voice and then just somebody. Who came back from Vietnam thinking there's just people in bushes and shit, you know? He got that little raspy little voice. He, I mean, he's just like Pinky from yeah. X-Ray. Say what? One more motherfucking time. What? What? Say what? What? Like, Say what? 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 I got a... F- I know exactly. Yeah, yeah he look... He, dude, he Does sounds... Does he look like Pinky? No, no, he doesn't. I can't I can't describe what he looks like. So are you, you guys are friends? I, I I guess now we are because uh I, I he he thought I was really cool because I brought in a BMX bike to weld. Nice. Like, oh damn! I used to have a mongoose like that back in the hood. Used to sell shit. Oh, never mind. Yeah, no, I used to have one like that. So. I, I don't understand what you're saying. I d- dude, used- that's how I feel all the time on an episode with you, man. <laughs> <laughs> he used to have a mongoose. Yeah, he used to have a mongoose. What's a mongoose? A bike. A BMX. Yeah. Okay. Oh shut up! You understand what I'm saying? I know, man. I'm maybe the, maybe the the viewers don't because I do. I know I have a speech impediment. No, I think it's they don't understand because they're Scottish, right, Ross? Irish. Actually, I have a lot of Irish people work yeah. at where I work at Jewel, and they're they're, they're, they're awesome people. <laughs>